Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Isabella. I am going to be reviewing a much anticipated collection and I have had it, honestly, I've had it sitting on my bed for about two to three weeks, possibly a month. I wanted to review it, which is why I haven't touched it. I'm talking about the Joseph Colors Desi and Katie collection. This packaging already. Can we just talk about this right now? Like, uh. So I have opened the products already. I repacked it so it looks nice and fancy, but I have opened them. I just have not swatched them. So nothing's been touched. It has been killing me. <laughs> Honestly, it has been so hard not to touch it because I wanted to review it and I wanted to do it for you guys here on YouTube. The day's finally come. I'm going to get straight into it. Within this video, it's going to be a Desi and Katie dedicated video. So I will be reviewing these products, but also within this tutorial, I'm going to be using and showing you products that they have loved throughout the years. So I've been following them for a very long time and I trust their judgment and their honesty when it comes to reviewing product, when it comes to reviewing products. So I thought, what better way to do a dedicated video to these beautiful girls than to do a full face using products they love as well as their new collection. So inside this box, hmm, it looks like this. So you've got the Desi and Katie at the top and then the packaging. Ew, there's a hair on that, it's gross. <laughs> and then on the inside, it's nice and wrapped up, so it's super safe. So once you take out the package, you have these two little cards. So one card being, thank you for shopping with josephcolors.com. We appreciate your business and hope you enjoy new items and just say to stay connected. So just a little social media type of card so you can tag, beautiful. And oh my God, these girls, can we just talk about them right now? Like how beautiful do they look? And then the other side, you've got them wearing hot fire. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so, when they leaked, they were collaborating with a brand. I had a hunch of a few brands. Dose is actually the first one that I guessed. I was thinking, oh, it could be Dose of Colors because throughout the years they have worked, well not worked with them, but they have, they have used a lot of, <laughs> they have used a lot of their products. So I thought, they seemed very loyal to the brand and their brand seemed very loyal to them. So I thought, hmm, maybe that. Then I thought, oh, could it be Tarte? And then I was thinking, oh, maybe is it Bite Beauty? Or hmm, is it Maybelline? Like they're just, they've been so connected with so many brands. It was just like, wow, who are they doing it with? But I was lucky enough to have guessed it, which doesn't really mean anything. But I thought that like with me guessing that, I just feel like it was, I don't know, like more honest in a way. Like they, you could tell they were already involved with the brand. Like they were just so close with them that it just seems pretty clear to me in a way. But anyway, with this inside, I've got my goodies. So the first product that I, <clears throat> <laughs> so the first product that I purchased, uh, don't fall. So the first product I purchased was over the top, which is the lip gloss. And the packaging looks amazing. It's so chic, so elegant, so beautiful. I got no shade, which is going to not focus. <laughs> so I got no shade, which is the lipstick. And of course, I could not not <laughs> get this. So this is Hot Fire Liquid Lipstick. I have got from, this is my favorite liquid lipstick of all time, like the most perfect color and I'm obsessed with it and the formula. I do love those formulas, so, or other liquid lipsticks anyway. I haven't tried their lipsticks or highlighters yet, so it's going to be interesting to see how they work out. But I am obsessed with Dose of Colors Coral Crush. It's literally my favorite color to wear especially for all skin tones too. It just looks amazing and just so different on, any, uh, on everyone. In summer when I'm nice and bronzed and tan, I am really white at the moment, so excuse me. <laughs> it's not white, it's white for me. So, but in summer I get really dark. Like right now I'm probably like 
if we're talking math wise, I get in say 40, 42, but in summer I get to like 45 to 50 max. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of shade difference. But this is like my favorite shade. So I wanna swatch this with Hot Fire to see the tone of it to see, but Hot Fire is gonna be more of that ready sort of coral color, like an orangey based. But I do wanna see the difference between the two because if it is anything like this, I know that I love it. And then, of course, I had to get my hands on a highlighter. The only one available was Mirame, so that is what I purchased. I'm so excited to try this out. And, oh my god, can we just talk about the packaging? Like, you have already seen it, I'm sure, but seriously? <gasps> like, how in the world is this even real? Like, I love the inspiration behind this behind this packaging was from a hat. Like, I just love that so much. So, I'm so excited to use this and it's just, oh, it just fits in the palm of your hand, it's just beautiful. And then with Hot Fire, they've changed the packaging compared to their previous liquid lipsticks. So, nice, cheeky, nude out of packaging. And then compared to Dose, of course, then it's obviously very different. And then, no shade lipstick. <laughs> it's really, really chic, very cute, very slim. And of course, over the top. I will show you the colors towards the end when I will be applying them because I'm going to try all three on the lips. So that is over the top. So beautiful. I've got that many sparkly lip glosses. It's actually insane. So. I'm excited to see this one, but I thought that I'd get straight into the, I thought I'd get straight into the tutorial for you guys, so let's just get started. Alrighty, hi! I am wearing a top by the way. It's a little cute cuffling crop from Fashion Nova and I'm so obsessed. You do have to go up a size though because the elastic is quite tight and I have muscles, so it's giving me sausage arms at the moment, but probably when it's sort of Lace is a little bit more, it'll be nice and comfortable. But anyway, I have already primed my face. It is feeling really sensitive lately, so I have to be really careful with what I put on it. But I've done my usual. I used, instead of my peach light, I used my MAC Gold Light Strobe Cream. This is inspired by Desi because I know how much she loves this product. So I thought that I'd pop it all over my face. And I did a little bit just on here, just the slightest bit, just to give myself a little sheen. I'm gonna do eyes first. Yeah, might as well do eyes first. So for eyes, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Just a little bit. Oh wow, that's a lot of it. A lot of it. I'm just gonna, there we go. So for my base, I'm starting off with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is Desi's go-to. So it's my go-to today. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid. And I'm just going to use my finger just to melt that into my skin. So I'm just doing patting motions. And then to set that, I'm just taking my Laura Mercier and just doing a very light sweep. And just pat that in. All right, I'm dipping into my customized Z palette and my first shade I always go to is Orange Soda from Anastasia. So I'm just going to wiggle and apply this all over. The most perfect base ever. And I'm going to speed up roughly with the more basic steps because you've seen it all before and I really just want to get onto the reviewing because, or and applying, most importantly applying because I'm so excited to use these products. I'm going to be using Caramel from Anastasia as well. And I'm just going in my crease with that. I'm gonna stick with like a very neutral look as well. I don't want it to be too out there because we have four, no, three. Because we have three lip products we're going to be trying on, two being neutral, one being bright. So I really want to make sure this look can accommodate for any shade. Is that even? Oh 
Oh my god, maybe not. Okay, I lied. It's actually creme brulee from Makeup Geek. That'd be easy. <laughs> I just checked the bottom thinking, what caramel is underneath? So I'm gonna go over the top of creme brulee. Oh my god, how did I get that wrong? I was like, this doesn't look like caramel. Caramel is this one just here. So I'm just taking that one now and then just adding a bit more depth. I'm just following the natural shape of my eye. And then just blending that out and I'm using my MAC 224 for this. So next I'm going to take Anastasia's Sienna. This used to be a go-to for Desi and Katie I think as well maybe, but Desi definitely. So I'm going to take my MAC 221 and just go to town with that. I'm just going to keep this on the outer third of my eye. And just wriggle that in. And blend once again. Just very light handily. You don't want to be too... You don't want to put too much hard of a pressure on the shadows because then they'll move too much. I'm taking my Inglot Aquastic in number 12. This is a great base for cutting a crease. So I'm just going to do half a cut crease. So from the inner corner. And I'm going to be taking my Inglot Pigment in 119. Woohoo! I'm just gonna my brush a quick spray fix plus and just wipe that on. Now I'm going to re-blend so it's nice and diffused all over so it's not stop and starty on my eyeballies. So I'm going to take a mixture of caramel this time, not creme brulee, and sienna. And I'm just going to, wow, that's really I did not expect that. Maybe I'll just do, oh wow, okay. Brush it in. Oh my god, that's so big. Too much. I'm just gonna flick that in and then tap over the top. And then just blend that out again. Oh my god, I went too hard too quick. That was so scary. It's like, no, I've already ruined the look and I haven't even really begun. <laughs> But I guess that's why I do your eyes first. <laughs> so the foundation for today, I'm using a new one, no more YSL, but it's more expensive than YSL. <laughs> I'm taking my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's a whole girl of Desi's, so why the hell not? I'm just gonna dot that all over my face. I've just pumped about four or five pumps on my hand. And I'm just gonna Spread my face with Fix Plus. Then I'm going to drop some of my Cover FX Sunlight drops just to enhance the glow. Now I look like this. <laughs> and then I'm just going to blend that in all over. Now I was thinking about doing a wing, but I want to keep it quite simple. So for the rest of the eyes, I'm just going to do my lower lash line and lashes and curl it a day. I am thinking about getting the remaining of the collection, so the eyeshadow palette and Savage and Fuego because I really, really, really wanted to get them, but I just want to try what I had first. 
So we are nice and luminous now. What is my hair doing? I can never wear it down. It always just plays me. I'm going to be taking my MAC Conceal and Correct Palette Medium. And I'm picking up this first shade just here. And that is NC30. And I'm just going to apply with my finger. I actually love this because it's like that waxy type of creamy-ish concealer. And my eyes have been so dry lately and this has just worked for me. So I'm super impressed. And I'm just going to melt that into my skin and just take it down a little bit further to highlight. And then just go in the center of my forehead just to add some brightness. And then the bridge of my nose and chin. So it's super slippery, so you want to set it as soon as you can just so it doesn't move too much. But it's super soft on the eyes. And to set that, I'm actually not going to bake for the first time in a very long time. I've tried a new technique to try steer away from baking. And I'm just going to be using my YSL Souffle de Clat in 04. With this one, I'm taking my Steel 24 brush and I'm using the denser side. It's really small and it's perfect for under the eyes. And so I'm just going to pat that well right underneath. Right where we've concealed. Pulling the most attractive faces ever. And then I'm just taking a small amount and setting the rest of my face. So I'm going to move back onto my eyes. I'm using the same three shades, or four shades, underneath my lower lash line. So I'm literally just going to swish, 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 and go right underneath from outer to inner corner. lashes I was so torn as to which ones I wanted to use if I wanted to go Iconics from House of Lashes or Queen Bees so I thought I'd do my Queen Bees because they're literally right in front of me and they're already cut so I'm gonna pop these on and I'll be right back all right so I decided just to finish off my eyes and do my brows literally stuff my brows up so many times I'm under the pump because I'm on a time limit because I'm going to be heading out shortly but this is the completed eye look and we're now going to do a bit of bronzing and then move on to the highlighting and lips. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Balm Bahama Mama bronzer and just quickly contour the cheekbone. That looks so bad. Oh my god, the camera makes it look so bad. Alright, I'm just doing a rough contour and then I'm going to blend it out and I'm just going to do the sides of my nose while I'm here uh -huh. and I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and just blend that out and then my bronzing step I always take my MAC Mineralized skin finish in gold deposit. Just give myself that sun kissed look. I was going to use Give Me Sun, but I do want to be quite glowy. So I'm just going to dip into this real quick. Alrighty, so now it's time for highlight and I have got my Mirame, 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 my Mirame highlighter and this is the deepest shade and I have, oh, let me just look at that, bad plastic. <laughs> this is what it looks like and it does have a little mirror which is perfect. So 
This is, yeah, the darker shade, but it looks a lot deeper in the pan, people have been saying. So, fingers crossed, it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to spray my face though with Fix Plus. And let that settle for a moment. Oh. I'm going to do my blush after this as well, because that's how I usually do it. But I don't do my brows first, so this is going to be really different for me, because I've not done this in a very long time. I'm going to hit it real quick. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with my Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush and ooh, that's buttery. Nothing is falling out. There is some kickback. Oh, don't get enough thing. There's a little bit of kickback, but there's literally no fallout. Like, that is perfect. Oh, all right. I'm going to hit my nose real quick, real fast. Real fast. Oh my God. I'm so nervous. Okay. That is really, really, really pretty. This looks promising. Oh God, ready? I love it! Oh my god, okay. It is deep, but it's not like so dark. Oh my god. like I should be on the front cover with them. I mean, I've got my no top. <laughs> well, my top, but my no top. Oh my god. Yes, this is so good. Okay, now I definitely have to get my hands on before I go. I'm gonna blend that out with my Anastasia A23 brush, just so it's nice and soft around the edges. Cause that is like my go-to step whenever doing that technique with the brush. I love that. I really do. Like it's deep, but it's not too dark. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so pretty. <laughs> that looks so gorgeous. <laughs> All right, and to complement the look, I'm taking one of Katie's favorite. Oh, not highlighters. <laughs> favorite. <laughs> favorite blushes. This is Luminoso from Milani. It is. So beautiful. I actually bought this because of Katie. So thanks girlfriend. I'm just going to pick up a little bit and then just pat it on my cheeks and push it back into the highlight. I forgot to do my brow bone. So I'm just going to hit it real quick. Right there. I'm going to saturate. My pencil brush. This is my Zoeva 230. And I'm going to go in the inner corners with this just to brighten it up. And I will list all of the products used below in my description for you guys so you can have a play. It is time for the lips, and I'm so excited. I'm kind of like, oh, what order do I do this in? But I thought I'd use the No Shade Lipstick. It has the cutest detailing. It's got their little signatures there. And then No Shade is the lightest lipstick. This one is Desi's Perfect Nude. So let's have a go and swatch this on our lips. Oh, wow. That is so creamy. Oh my god, it actually smells like a liquid lipstick. It's like they have the most amazing scent. Oh my god. It looks like I've got like concealer on my lips, but it looks good. Oh my god. So that is no shade. I have to take a selfie with this. Holy. And then over the top. I'm taking my over the top lip gloss. So pretty. I want to see how this smells because I haven't smelt it. Oh. oh my god, yes. Love. Oh my god, seriously? It has the cutest little specks. Oh my god, that's 
so cute. It turns it's like this really nice pink shade. Look at this. I love that. See you. So this is just over the top by itself. So this is just my bare lips. I think it's got some little lipstick on it. Oops. It is so pretty. It does have some lipstick in it though, but you can see the twinkle of the glitters. I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna take a drop of my Fasali Rose Gold Elixir, uh, elixir on my lips because they are so dry right now. It is not even funny. Even though like you shouldn't put oil on your lips with liquid lipsticks, uh, with liquid lipsticks because it actually breaks the liquid lipstick up. That's how the easier way of taking them off are. So little tip for you guys. And then this is hot fire. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my god, nah. Nah. This is... Oh. Oh my god. I'm literally shaking. That's how... Girl! I actually am obsessed with this. It's like a really, really orangey red. Like it's, it looks neon in here. Oh my God, let me swatch this for you. Okay. So this is Coral Crush. And I'll do that on the back of my hand. It's really weird. It's the most awkward swatch I've done in my life. So Coral Crush is that one right there. So it's a bit deeper, a bit pinky peachier. This is a lot more orange though. And then this one next to it. Oh yeah, oh my god. I actually feel so awkward, I can't do this. And then that's hot fire. So yeah, they're completely different. Completely. Oh. I found my new summer color. Girl! <gasps> this is actually insane. Like I love the whole collection. And it's dried down already. Like it's been no time at all. Oh my god! And it hasn't even bled either. That's so good. This is so exciting. All right, guys. I'm going to leave the video here for you. This is the completed look with my three lip swatches, but full combos. So let me know down in the comments what you liked about this video. I'm actually so in love with everything. Like the highlighter is beautiful. Never tried any dose color, dose color, dose of colors, highlighters. The lipsticks, oh my god, I'm actually obsessed. So, holy shamoli. If you guys have purchased the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collection, let me know down in the comments what you guys bought. And I want to know what your favorites have been. I actually need to get the entire collection. Like, I'm actually, um, oh my god, I can't. I keep saying actually. It's incredible. Like, I'm so, so, so impressed with this whole thing. And I honestly had no doubts because these girls are amazing and Dosey Colors as a brand, they are incredible. They come up with amazing products and the formulas are incredible. So it's really no surprise that it's so good. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial slash review slash Desi and Katie dedicated video. If you guys have any video requests for the future, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm actually obsessed.